good afternoon. What we have represented on this panel is the, if you will, the expert thinker, the person who spent much of his recent time digging into this issue deeply. The opportunities presented by big data are simply too great that the laws are going to have to change. Uh, and that's going to be the real challenge for us in the years ahead as to how to arrive at a sensible balance between privacy rights while still not chilling uh, big data initiatives. And we may think we get it right and enact new laws, but I can assure you 10 years from that point, we'll be rethinking how we enacted those laws and whether that was appropriate. The same thing <coughs> happened in 1995 when the Europeans enacted the Data Protection Directive and you know people didn't envision the kind of technologies that exist today. And so the laws had to be re-examined and revised. And I'm sure that's gonna happen as we go into the future. We're probably not gonna get it right. I'm sure we're not gonna get it right. But if you ask me for a trend, I think this is gonna be you know, an interesting ride as we reform privacy legislation and our thinking about privacy um, in the years ahead. And um, I think it'll be an exciting time as well. If I look at my kids, um, how they are, um, and relying on almost instant access to internet and, uh, and sharing with their friends the latest um, fashion or whatever detail. It's, it's becoming part of, of, of just living. And um, I, I think we need to be able to uh, protect not just the kids, ourselves, right? Um, to, um, to circumvent abuse of what's being shared, to protect ourselves from incidents, protect ourselves from connectivity issues, but also from trust issues. So, so um, um, we really want to stimulate that uh, use of the connectivity. So what I hope and what I will help um, build is um, a secure and trustworthy uh, collaboration environment. Thank you. I am pretty optimistic that we will solve the 1984 issue, the surveillance issue, or the surveillance threat that big data might provide us with. I am more worried and less optimistic about our ability, that is human society's ability, to combine and constrain big data analysis so that we don't fall prey to probabilistic predictions about our future, about each of our futures, and to hold people responsible not for what they have done, but what they're only predicted to do. And so I think what keeps me up at night is a fear that we might end up with a dystopian trend towards its minority report. So with that, thank you very much for your attention. I'd like to give our panel a, a real warm welcome.